What's going on guys, it's Benny Johnson here and welcome to your first reverse engineering files tutorial. In this series I'm going to teach you guys how to actually go ahead and dissect a file and work out how it works. So this is basically working out the underlying structure of the file and understanding it so you can work out the different sections of the data and therefore you can modify it or do whatever with the file that Mention needs. So you may be asking, well, why would you want to do such a thing? Well, maybe you're a gamer who's really passionate about a game, um, but what, would like to modify the game in some way, so like change how fast the player moves, import their own 3D models, however, can't because the 3D models are in this special format. Or even if the game were too hard to decrypt and the uh, user had enough skill, uh, they would be able to create their own levels, which would be really awesome. Another example is if you're a software developer and you're making an application but would like to add support for a different file format that maybe another commercial application uses, uh, reverse engineering the files of that ap other application would be useful so you can actually read those files into your application. So an example of this is every time a new version of Office, Microsoft Office comes out, um, OpenOffice, which is an open source alternative to Office, um, has to actually reverse engineer those new document files um, and add support to it. Or maybe uh, you're a hacker and you'd like to analyze malware or crack passwords in programs. So there's lots of different uses for reverse engineering files and I know there's a lots of demand out for there uh, but there's no information on it so through this series I'm gonna um, stop that and add a lot of information about it and teach you guys how to actually do it. So that's about it for today's tutorial. I'll see you in the next one where we get into the nitty-gritty stuff of reverse engineering files. See you guys later.